Hi, this is Anthony Eckhart, and um, as you can see, I'm on a video here wanting to uh, congratulate Anna Palumbo for being nominated for Student of the Year. Um, Anna and I have worked together in the last year in the, both the macro and microeconomics classes. Um, she did exceedingly well, and I um, we always enjoyed reading her work because Anna is very thoughtful and insightful and always had a, an interesting take on our topics. Um, one of the things I can comment about Anna's work is that she was always very, or is always very thorough and complete and had, a, I think, a knack for economics, which is something that probably I would say one in maybe 200 people have the kind of skill and persistence and tenacity that Anna demonstrated during our time together. Her posts were always, like I mentioned earlier, always very thoughtful and, and she had a knack for doing lists which always made it interesting because the the work was always outlined in a you know, kind of a one, two, three fashion and it was always very clear and easy to understand. Um, as I mentioned, we worked together for two semesters. I had the opportunity to meet Anna's husband, a very, very uh, nice man and um, like, like I said earlier, it was actually just an honor to work with her and, and um, I wish her the very best. So in closing, um, I just want to say what an honor again was to work with Anna Palumbo and, and as a nominee for Student of the Year, I can't think of a more viable or um, I think candidate that deserves the honor. She did a great job. And uh, again, I look forward to uh, having received this presentation. Thanks. Hi, my name is Andy Bloom. This is for Tiffany Henry. Tiffany came into my algebra class and I think it was the first day let me know how ridiculous algebra was, that we let letters be numbers, and how much she hated math. Um, by the end of the semester, Tiffany had uh, a solid A in the class. and. Uh, I think it was our fourth test, she actually was upset with herself for getting a 94 on the test instead of doing better. Uh, by the last test of, of the semester, Tiffany actually got the highest grade of any of the four classes that I teach, and uh, she was a pleasure, worked super hard to, uh, to better herself, and, and left the class with an A. Congratulations on the nomination for the award, Tiffany, and I hope uh, the future looks bright for you. Hi, Charlotte. This is Carol Roop. And on behalf of the Family Studies Department, we want to congratulate you on being selected as a finalist for the EOPS CARE Student of the Year. Wow. I can remember when you first came to Shasta College. I think it was fall 2009. And it was life management, second row, third seat. You were fragile. You had been through some very serious calamities in your life and coming back to school to maybe take a couple of classes, that was your intent. And you were probably anxious about your test anxiety. All of those things so understandable. But you've got grit. You've got spunk. You've got flair. Oh, not lacking in flair. And you stuck with it. And lo and behold, you found that even with the essay tests that were in my class, you did fine. And that gave you a new sense of reality, and pretty soon you were much more comfortable. And in your comfort, you started to expand your horizons. You joined the Family Studies Student Club. Eventually, you were elected as vice president. You found your niche. Oh, you were nurturing. I watched you. When you would take somebody under your wing, you would absolutely protect them at all costs. How powerful that was. And pretty soon you're getting more classes and now you're majoring and the couple of classes that you started out doing, I mean, it's just ballooned into now an AS degree and, and now you're working in learning services and oh my word, this is the way it is. I think you epitomize the power of the human spirit and transcending what what was and absolutely the extent to which it can which it can become. We are so proud of you and congratulations from all of us with the bottom of our hearts. 
Hi April, it's Teresa Doyle, your STU 1 college success teacher. And for those of you who don't know April, um, there's many reasons why she was nominated as EOPS Student of the Year. And I want to share with you the textbook that I use in my college success class. Here's the cover of our book and it's titled Becoming a Master Student, subtitled Being April Frazier. And on the inside we find articles such as April Frazier 101, Setting and Achieving Goals. And let me tell you, April is the prototype of the exemplary student, the one who achieves success in college and beyond. And I could not be prouder of you, April. You not only have exhibited the outer behaviors of an exemplary student in um, showing up to class, getting a 4.0, doing all of the things that's necessary for success in college, but you've also embodied all those inner qualities that it takes to be successful. Things like perseverance and resilience and self-motivation. And I just could not be prouder and I'm so honored that you have chosen me as a teacher that impacted your life. Good luck. So congratulations April for your nomination for this esteemed award as EOPS Student of the Year. Konnichiwa. My name is Hiroko Mori. I teach Japanese. Mary Cadden took my Japanese one class last semester and she is in a Japanese two class now. Um, she is an excellent student, of course, with A plus in both classes. I am truly honored to talk about her today. Mary san, omedito gozaimasu. Yoku dekimashita. Kanpeki. I hear instructors say that we the teachers learn from students too, and I quite agree. I bow deeply to Mary for her dedication and uh, constant hard work. She is the mother of three and two stepsons and a host mother of a Korean student. Uh, we can imagine how busy she is at home. A while ago, she told me that she and her husband were going through medical hardships. She has been taking care of her husband and she has been in a lot of pain herself. I didn't know it because she never showed it to other people around her and uh, kept her smiles. On top of all this, she works as a tutor and a peer advisor on campus. It's truly amazing. I don't know if I could do the same thing. Uh, Mary has been a great uh, example for other students, not by words, but by hard work. Uh, the most important thing for her returning to school is to set a good example for her kids and others in her life. Her message is, you can do it and never give up. Her main goal for her future is to continue helping others. She really enjoys helping other people. I have been seeing it. So here's my deep bow for you. Mary san, doumo arigato. Yoku dekimashita. Thank you. Hi, Angela. Uh, this is your welding instructor, Mark Smith. Uh, congratulations on your nomination for Student of the Year through EOPS. Well, I can remember when you first started here at Shasta College as a welding student, you've come a long way and I just really appreciate having you as a student and uh, love your great attitude and if you keep, uh, keep that up, I'm sure you'll be successful in everything that you pursue. Best of luck to you. Hello, my name is Marvin Apps, uh, uh, full-time faculty here at Shasta College. I've been here for about 25 years, uh, teaching life science classes, uh, most noteworthy anatomy, and human anatomy, and uh, uh, general zoology. Uh, and I am really thrilled and both honored as well to speak on behalf of Anthony Garcia. Uh, Anthony came to class with a smile on his face, with a lot of uh, enthusiasm and energy. Uh, he interacted well with his peers. Uh, he was a leader with regard to uh, investigations in uh, lab dissections uh, and uh, compiling data and analyzing it. Uh, uh, he uh, 
Uh, spent a lot of time uh, independently as well as in the classroom. Uh, he was never afraid to ask questions. Uh, and, uh, you know, he was basically a, a, a very special individual uh, and special with regard to how he interacted with others. And, uh, you know, he rates uh, easily uh, up in the you know, upper few percent of, of students that I've had the pleasure in 25 years of teaching to, to have in my class. And I certainly wish him the best because I know he'll be the best. Hi, this is Heather Wiley, Sociology Instructor and Coordinator for the Center for Community Engagement. This is a message for Roxanne Reyes. Roxy, I've been so inspired by your incredible energy and knowing you has been an absolute privilege and I can't thank you enough for bringing your smile and your positive energy wherever you go. Congratulations on being nominated for Student of the Year. Hello, I'm Linda McBride and I'm adjunct faculty in the Early Childhood Education Department at Shasta College. And this message is for Jessica McKay. Jessica, you are a wonderful young woman and you will be such an addition to the early childhood education community. I wish you the best of everything as you move forward in your career. I also want to say to you a good luck being president next year of the Early Childhood Educators Network. You will truly be a wonderful leader. Thank you.